do some stand-up comedy. Uh, actually, I'm a professional boxer. I boxed everything from carrots to tomatoes. I <laughs> no, I got I got a black friend, and we were all playing uh, Scrabble the other night, and uh, he comes up with this word. He's like, he's all happy. It's a triple score. And I was like, what the hell is that? B O F U S. He goes, Bofus. And I said. You said a sentence. He goes, we go into the store. Both us. <laughs> His brother's a cop, right? So he's telling me he pulled over two white guys and he walked up to the driver and he slapped him in the back of the head. He goes, hey, what did you slap him for? He said, you're speeding. He walks over to the pastor and he slaps him in the back of the head. He said, why'd you slap me? He said, I know, as soon as you guys drive off, you're going to look at him and go, I wish that black cop would have slapped me like that. <laughs> <laughs> and so I met the gas station the other day, and this dude was lighting up a cigarette, and he was filling up his gas tank, and his arm caught on fire, and he was all waving it like this, and the police come over, and they shot the guy right there. And I ran over there, and I said, why the hell did you guys shoot that guy? He said, in the state of California, it's illegal to wave a firearm. <laughs> <laughs> big old bucks and the pilot he tells us hey you know what we can only take two of those bucks I said hey check it out we had three bucks the size last year the plane just like that man and he goes I go what up and he goes all right so we were, we were taking off right there and we fucking couldn't get past the trees we wrecked we got out my friend goes where does where do you think we are and I go looks like the same place we crashed last year <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I was gonna go bungee jumping and uh the instructor, I said, so what's it like? You know, and he says, well, it's kind of like getting a blowjob from your grandma. It's like it feels good, but for Christ's sake, don't look down. Me and one of my buddies, we were out there in Panama Bluffs. You know, it's all steep right there, and we were all drinking beer and stuff, and uh, there was these two girls walking right there, and uh, one of them slipped, right? And... Uh, the other girl caught her arm, right? And my friend goes, you see that? I go, yeah. He goes, you know what I did if that girl would have fell? I said, what? He goes, I ran over there and fucked her before she got cold. <laughs> 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 So check this out, I was, I was with this chick, we were all getting our freak on and shit, she goes, you want to take it to the next level, you know, I'm thinking, oh my god, anal, right? Now this bitch takes out a glass eye, she put it in there, I said, what the fuck, put it in there. So I did what any man would do, I did it once, you know, and I was like, ew, it was fucking sick, dude, so I, when I was driving off, I threw a number out the window on my brother the next day, he says, hey man, you know that girl with the glass eye, Marley, yeah? She said, come by, man, she'll keep an eye out for you. <laughs> <laughs> People always ask me, Tanner, man, would you, would you suck a dick for a million dollars? I said, I'd probably fucking swallow. <laughs> <laughs> so check this out, I told her, uh, why am I sick, bitch? You know what? If you clean the house, we'd get rid of the maid. She said, fuck, if you eat pussy, we'd get rid of the gardener. <laughs> <laughs> So me and her we went to this church, and uh, the pastor says there's only one rule here. He says uh, you gotta go a month without having sex. So we come back a month later, right? He says, all right, did you make it a month without having sex? And I said, you know what? I made it three and a half fucking weeks, and she dropped an orange and bent over to pick it up. I hit that shit. And he goes, son, you're not welcome to this church. And I said, that's all right. I'm not welcome to bombs anymore either. <laughs> and that's it, guys. <laughs>